welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha and today I'm going to be talking you through the Newstead Show Home by Davidson Soames. My fiance and I recently went to see the show home that they have at the Horton Estate, which is an estate that both of us have just fallen absolutely in love with. This particular show home really knocked our socks off. So I've got some footage and I'd love to share with you what we saw. My socks are really knocked off. <laughs> the Horton Estate is in Rugby and if you want me to talk a bit more about that estate or you're interested in it, I'll share the link below and just write in the comments if it's something you'd like me to talk about in a future video. The Newstead is a five bedroom, 2,295 square foot property. It's detached, it has a double garage, it has three floors, one bathroom, one shower room, and one downstairs toilet. This property really stands out. It's got special black brick that they haven't used anywhere else on the estate thus far. It was interesting, this was a picture that Dami found that had what looked to be the inspiration for the property. Going inside, the first thing you're greeted by is this huge hallway. You've got the stairs going up and double doors to the left going through to the living room. To the right, as you come in, you have a study. Quite small, but realistically, all you would need for a study, really. You have the downstairs toilet and you have the kitchen diner but with the most incredible additional feature look at this void you really don't see features quite like that in your day-to-day -day new build this one has obviously got a higher price point to go with it and being the show home it does have quite a few optional extras. Lovely open plan kitchen dining room with a family area. Huge bifolds looking out to the garden, which I will show you after the living room. But first of all, the utility. Another storage space under the steps. And through the double doors to the living room where you have ample space for big sofas, a huge TV. And here you've got French doors looking out to the garden. So really nice to have as I've shown there, dining area or whatever you fancy really, a hot tub around there. So now if we magic ourselves to the other side of those bifold doors, we have a stunning space that's just gonna be perfect for having barbecues, obviously whatever you fancy doing outside. Currently there's no fence here, because it's a show home, but there would be usually. And you have this extra dining area leading onto the living room, as we saw previously. Second floor, we have four bedrooms on this floor. So this is the first double. They've done it up in a Mary Poppins theme. Built-in wardrobes and a view to the back garden. Moving around to the next room, it's a bit smaller, but I'd say you could still fit a double in this room. Again, you have the built-in wardrobes. They've done this up as a nursery. We then have a bathroom slash shower room. They're separate, which I think is really cool. This is the only bath in the house. Essentially, this is a family bathroom. And then we have what they've done up as a Harry Potter room, which looks out onto the front, same as the nursery room. And again, a nice size double. Next, we have the master, but to walk to it, we actually have to go along this awesome walkway, which the eagle-eyed viewers amongst you would have seen from downstairs in the dining room. And it shuts off this incredible master from the rest of the house. So you get some peace and quiet and a bit of tranquility and privacy. The master has its own shower en suite and it also has this semi walk-in wardrobe. It's a bit of a strange one. Um, I'd say you can't fully walk into it, but for me, I'd say that that's enough space in there. You also have these glazed windows here within the wall. They utilize that light coming into the void. Now, if we go upstairs, we have a really interesting situation. We have a almost a living area annex style setup. So they've put a sofa and a console table, etc. I mean, realistically, this could be used as another office space up here. This living space looks out again from the top floor of the front of the property. You have a lovely double bedroom with built-in wardrobes all along, a small window out to the front, 
and you have additional storage space up here. It's walk-in height. It's actually quite narrow. They'd store the TV box in there, which I think is pretty accurate as to the sort of space that you're looking at. And this is the shower room. Really great sized showers in throughout this house. Don't use the toilet, definitely don't use the toilet in the show rooms. Yeah, so going back down the stairs, just really nice staircase. So guys, let me know what your favourite part of this property was. Was it the void above the dining room or was it the master walkway that that created? I'd be really interested to hear your point of view. Please click here for my latest upload. I'd love it if you could subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. So oh, what your favourite part of this home was. Was it, <laughs> was it the baby laughing? Subscribe at the board.